Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. NASA has a plan to defend Earth from an incoming asteroid, and it's now tapped SpaceX to help carry it out. Lighting up the California coastline early in the morning of November the 24th, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carried NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, spacecraft off the planet to begin its one-way trip to crash into an asteroid. DART, a mission designed, developed and managed by the John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland for NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, is the world's first full-scale mission to test technology for defending the planet against potential asteroid or comet hazards. The spacecraft launched Wednesday morning at 1.21 a.m. EST from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. As just one part of NASA's larger planetary defense strategy, DART will send a spacecraft to impact a known asteroid that is not a threat to Earth, to slightly change its motion in a way that can be accurately measured via ground-based telescopic observations. DART will show that a spacecraft can autonomously navigate to a target asteroid and intentionally collide with it. It's a method called kinetic impact, and the test will provide important data to help humankind better prepare for an asteroid that might pose an impact to Earth, should one ever be discovered. The double asteroid redirection test represents the best of APL's approach to space science and engineering. Identify the challenge, devise an innovative and cost-effective technical solution to address it, and work relentlessly to solve it, said APL director Ralph Semmel. We are honored that NASA has entrusted APL with this critical mission where the fate of the world really could rest on our success. At 2.17 a.m. EST, DART separated from the second stage of its launch vehicle. Minutes later, mission operators at APL received the first spacecraft telemetry data and started the process of orienting the spacecraft to a safe position for deploying its solar arrays. Almost two hours later, the spacecraft successfully unfurled its two 28-foot-long roll-out solar arrays. They will power both the spacecraft and NASA's evolutionary Xenon thruster, commercial ion engine, one of the several technologies being tested on DART for future applications on space missions. The DART team overcame the technical, logistical and personal challenges of a global pandemic to deliver the spacecraft to the launch pad. And I'm confident that its next step, actually deflecting an asteroid, will be just as successful, said Mike Ryachovic, head of APL Space Exploration Sector. It gives me a lot of assurance that if we ever have to embark on an urgent planetary defense mission, we have the people and the playbook to make it happen. DART's one-way trip to the Didymos asteroid system, which comprises a pair of asteroids, one small and the other large, that orbit a common center of gravity, DART's target is the asteroid moonlet Dimorphos, which is approximately 530 feet in diameter, and orbits Didymos, which is approximately 2,560 feet in diameter. Since Dimorphos orbits the larger asteroid Didymos at a much slower relative speed than the pair orbits the Sun, the slight orbit change resulting from DART's kinetic impact within the binary system can be measured much more easily than a change in the orbit of a single asteroid around the Sun. The spacecraft will intercept the Didymos system in late September of 2022, intentionally slamming into Dimorphos at roughly 4 miles per second, 6 kilometers per second, so that the spacecraft alters the asteroid's path around Didymos. Scientists estimate the kinetic impact will shorten Dimorphos' orbit by several minutes, and they will precisely measure that change using telescopes on Earth. The results will be used to both validate and improve scientific computer models that are critical to predicting the effectiveness of kinetic impact as a reliable method for asteroid deflection. The binary asteroid would have passed Earth safely in 2022 and again in 2024. They weren't on track to make contact with our planet. But NASA has already identified at least 23 objects that could potentially collide with us over the next 100 years. Coming up with a defense strategy is key to protecting humanity should Armageddon ever be on the horizon. 
In September 2022, the spacecraft will collide with Dimorphos, a moon orbiting the near-Earth asteroid Didymos, at more than 24,000 km per hour. The impact will change the orbit of Dimorphos slightly, demonstrating how such a kinetic impactor could be used to change the trajectory of a threatening asteroid. We definitely have a reason to want to be able to see by ramming this asteroid, said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson in a November 23 interview. Can you slightly move a trajectory? And if so, then we have a template for the future. It is an indescribable feeling to see something you've been involved in with since the words on paper stage become real and launched into space said Andy Cheng, one of the DART investigation leads at APL and the individual who came up with the idea of DART. This is just the end of the first act and the DART investigation and engineering teams have much work to do over the next year preparing for the main event, DART's kinetic impact on Dimorphos. But tonight we celebrate. DART's single instrument, the camera Draco, Didymos Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation, will turn on a week from now and provide the first images from the spacecraft. DART will continue to travel just outside of Earth's orbit around the Sun for the next 10 months until Didymos and Dimorphos will be relatively close at 6.8 million miles from Earth. A sophisticated guidance navigation and control system working with algorithms developed at APL called SmartNav, Small Body Maneuvering Autonomous Real-Time Navigation, will enable the DART spacecraft to identify and distinguish between the two asteroids and then, working in concert with the other the GNC elements direct the spacecraft towards Dimorphos, all within roughly an hour of impact. Provided by the Italian Space Agency, the light Italian CubeSat for imaging of asteroids will ride along with DART and be released prior to impact. Lycia Cube will then capture images of the DART impact, the resulting ejector cloud and possibly a glimpse of the impact crater on the surface of Dimorphos. It will also look at the backside of Dimorphos, which Draco will never have a chance to see, gathering further data to enhance the kinetic models. That effort includes funding of ground-based observations and coordination with other agencies for planning in the event of an asteroid on a collision course is detected. No known asteroid poses an impact threat to the Earth for the next century, but only about 40% of the estimated population of large near-Earth asteroids have been discovered one that also includes international cooperation with organizations like the European Space Agency, which will send the HERA mission to Didymos and Dimorphos later this decade to observe the after-effects of DART's collision. Everybody on Earth ought to, in their space agencies, have an interest in doing this. With this, we have come to the end of our video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.